Uh, welcome back to Tear Maker Tiramisu. Let's let's rank some Pixar movies. Yeah, let's do it. Um. Yeah, this this seems okay. I th I'll, I'll, I'm gonna add an F tier. Boom, F tier. Okay. Uh. So, this is I already have a list of um, my highest ranked movies of all time I have that on IMDB which is just every movie I've rated over 8 stars I've ranked from best to worst uh, and so some of these are already in there I'm gonna have to try to remember like how I ranked those um, up I believe is just under that so I'm gonna say up B tier for now. I might have to adjust these uh, just for like <laughs> it, uh, because I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure like what's which each section is gonna be so far. I might have to adjust these. I don't know. Kind of goes without saying. Up, up is pretty good. I mean, the, the opening segment. I think I probably teared up a little bit when I first saw that. Up is a really fun, great time one of their best movies, but they also make some of the best movies of all time. <laughs> so it's a it's a fierce competition. I all, I almost wonder if I should put up in C tier because there's gonna be so many that'll be in A tier. Um I don't think anything is gonna go in F, honestly, because I, I F I would say is bad. Now, I don't even want to, want to put anything in D tier, but just so that everything's balanced out, I think some are going to go in D tier. But up isn't really middle of the road. No, I guess it kind of is middle of the road just because there's so many on the top. And then D tier is just going to be like... Oh no, there are. you know what? There are going to be two that are in F tier. I, can, I already know. <laughs> Alright, Toy Story... Uh, B tier. Yes, very good. I like rewatched that recently, and I was like, this is a lot better than I remember. Because I, I guess I saw it too much as a kid, and I was like, it's whatever, man. It's Toy Story. <laughs> you know, Toy Story three is the best one, obviously. Uh, and I think I probably still do feel that way, but oh, actually. Mm... No, okay, still just two in F tier. I was gonna say actually that might be three in F tier. No, um, I think I think whatever ones you're thinking are gonna be in F tier might not be the ones that you think they are. Anyway, Toy Story holds up a lot better than I remember. It's a great first movie. Monsters University, I love it. It's a great movie. Um, hmm, yeah, C tier. Not as I mean, Up is obviously better. Monsters University, overhated. I, I think it's a great movie. Really fun. Uh, towards the end has that kind of panicky, <laughs> maybe energy of the first Monsters Inc. Not nearly as good. Monsters Inc. is one of the best movies of all time, but still really good. Uh, Finding Dory, F, F tier. Not a terrible movie, but I hate that it exists. <laughs> Just go away, please. Unnecessary. Finding Nemo, on the other hand, one of the best movies of all time. There we go. Finding Nemo, beautiful movie. Cars 2. Cars 2, also overhated. Cars 2, I'll say, is D tier. Fun spy movie. Like. This is what I like about about Pixar sequels, like Cars 2 and Monster University, or the the first Pixar sequels before they did fucking Finding Dory, and it's like, let's just do a movie with Dory. It's not like themed. So, Cars 2, what if Pixar did a spy movie? Monster University, what if Pixar did a college movie? Like they 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 mix things up, they spice it up for the sequels, the follow ups, whatever, the prequels, the follow ups. <laughs> I like I like Monster University. I like Cars 2. It's, you know, it's got its issues. It's one of the, it's one of the most, I guess, silly Pixar movies. 
but it's fun. It's a fun spy movie. I don't know why people hate it so much. Maybe I need to rewatch it. Maybe then I'll, I won't like it. I saw it when it came out in the theater. I saw. I chose to see. I chose to see it. I think instead of Super Eight, which I still haven't seen. My family saw Super Eight, and I wanted to go see Cars Two by myself. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna miss the new Pixar movie. Because I have seen every. I have seen all these. I've seen every Pixar movie. I mean, how I many people are like, oh, I haven't seen that Pixar movie. It's like, for me though, like. I'm gonna see every movie Pixar puts out. Just they've made some of the best movies of all time. Like, I I'm not gonna miss the new Pixar movie. Cause what if it's another? Um, what's if another masterpiece? Um, by the way, this is the 10 out of 10 movie I was talking about. This is the one movie I ever had 10 out of 10. The Incredibles, perfect movie. As close to a perfect movie as there is. Um, great score great story it's 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 i think equally interesting for kids and adults somehow i remember loving it as a kid and being so interested with all the bonus features that were on the special edition dvd that's a great dvd (laughs) just deleted scenes and stuff i was like whoa wait what is going on with these deleted scenes because i guess there's it's just like hints at completely rejected stories or whatever. I don't know. If you, look up some of the bonus features for the Incredibles special edition DVD. They're really interesting. Ratatouille. Um, I need to rewatch Ratatouille. I'm going to say B tier, but I need to rewatch it. I think it might be higher. People are saying... People people say have been saying Ratatouille is the best Pixar movie. And I don't think I'm going to say it's 10 out of 10. But I do think I have read two as an eight out of ten, which may be too low. Um, I think I have it higher than Toy Story, probably. I'm not sure. Red Two is another beautiful movie. Obviously, like yeah, Brad Brad Bird did amazing work with Pixar. At least until Incredibles Two. <laughs> um, Good Dinosaur. Another overhated one. I love the Good Dinosaur. It's a it's, it's Pixar's Western movie. It's not a sequel, so I don't know why they did that. But it's a Pixar's Western movie. They did a great job with it. I don't know why this picture is the like concept art. <laughs> this is not what the movie had. Hey, by the way, <coughs> where's Newt on this list? <laughs> I want to rank Newt on here. Oh, just take a sip of water. Um, I think people say it's too dark. Or too mean, or whatever. I don't know. I think it's an interesting movie. I, maybe I wouldn't have liked it as much as a kid, but I liked it when it came out. I thought I was like, "This is a gr- this is an eight out of ten movie." <laughs> Cars. I honestly don't remember Cars like at all. I'll just I'll just say for the I'll give I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Say it's better than Cars two. Um, but yeah, I really just don't remember it at all. I have a lot of the the Happy Meal toys that came out uh, that, that that came that, that were. From McDonald's when it came out, because I was a kid. <laughs> um, does that say 2006? I know that's when it came out, but it's weird that that's like in the tagline. Does it say the, oh, the all new 2006, <laughs> the all new 2006 car. Um. So if anyone wants to buy those, have you those? <laughs> in wrapper, still fresh. Cars 3, uh, great movie. There you go, C tier. It means not in it. C tier so is basically just like the ones that are not bad at all. But, yes, this seems about right. Not bad at all, but not an 8 out of 10. This feels wrong that Up is below Good Dinosaur. I need to rewatch Up as well. Uh, a Bug's Life, I'll just say is an F. Out of, uh, is an F. Um, I don't, you know, I don't hate it. Like, fi- I like Finding Dory. Um, but... It's, it's like, a, it's not interesting. <laughs> it's fine. Incredibles 2, also F tier. Incredibles 2 is... Incredibles 2 is the worst Pixar movie. I'm gonna say that. Incredibles... Because Incredibles is the best Pixar movie, and they didn't need to follow it up 
People acted like they needed to follow it up. They didn't need to follow it up. They could have followed it up in a really nice, cool way by aging the characters up and doing, like, a new story in the future. They picked it up right when the first movie left off. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? No. Oh, Jack-Jack is cute. He's fighting with a raccoon. No. Stop that. <laughs> the, the first Incredibles movie is... It it, it 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 treats all the viewers with respect. In Crumbles too, it, 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 it feels I don't know. The, 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 at least the Jack Jack and Raccoon stuff is pandering. People have a lot of complaints with the story that I think are valid. It's yeah. It's I hate. I've, it's not a terrible movie on its own, but it's not on its own. It's a follow up to the best. It, the, the arguably the greatest movie of all time. Not my favorite movie by the way. My favorite movie is Back to the Future. But I think The Incredibles is arguably and I'm not, I'm, and you know, this is just my opinion, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna say it's one of the greatest movies of all time. I haven't seen every movie, obviously. It's way better than Citizen Kane. Um, Wally is B tier, I believe. I have that over 8 out of 10. Wally... Yeah, put it in front of Toy Story. Wally, um, I think for a while I was thinking people were saying this is the best Pixar movie. So Wally is good. I think it's, I don't know, it, it, it's their most maybe understated Pixar movie. I don't know. Am I saying if I am I saying a word that is appropriate here? <laughs> I'm not sure. Alright, let me. How do I. A new tab, okay. Uh. Understated. Presented and expressed in this double effect. Yeah, yeah, it's understated. How do I go back? Yeah, understated, sure. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a movie about a robot that doesn't talk, and most of the characters don't talk. It's just. It's just really well done and nice and beautiful. Uh, and Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. Finding Nemo are, are, like, about the same level. I would say Finding Nemo is a bit better, but Monsters, Inc. Great, fun. I don't know. I'm just saying these are all great. They're great. There's not, there's not really, they're just great. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, I didn't just watch them, so it's hard to say, like, oh, this part was really good, this part was really good. And that wouldn't really, I don't know. Wouldn't be much of a point to that anyway. Um, Inside Out... Inside Out is fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Back of the C tier. Inside Out, Inside Out I think is overrated. When Inside Out came out, people were like, Oh, Pixar's done it again. Great picture movie. I, I, I mean, it's, it's good. I, I don't think it's like a Pixar's done it again <laughs> type of thing. Um... It's it, it when it came out. I was thinking this is a very Disney movie. Um, Pixar's obviously always been owned by Disney. I think from like when Toy Story came out. Um, but Inside Out felt like it had a lot of marks of a Disney movie. Coco had some of those marks too, but Coco managed to overcome that, and. I, I honestly have it hi higher than uh, yeah. Coco is a tier, just because it got me to cry. And I can't think of there probably are other movies that got me to cry, but it's so difficult to get me to cry for a movie. But they used the music in the ending, and it all just came together, and like I was crying. And I and I was like, all right, maybe it's not gonna happen when I rewatch it. And I rewatched it, and I cried again. So it's a beautiful movie. It's got some not so good uh, tropes, I guess. I don't like the skeleton design. People, people, uh, like, uh, people have said it's actually pretty good. I don't like the skeleton design. Don't give skeletons eyeballs. You can make them um, emote without giving them eyeballs, but whatever. I still think Coco's uh, one of their best movies. Toy Story 2. I think I said that was better than Toy Story. Uh, yeah, it's Toy Story 2 was also better than I remembered when I rewatched it recently. I rewatched the first three 
uh, to get ready for Toy Story 4. Oh, you know what? Incredibles 2 is not. Their, you know, I'm, <laughs> it's very obvious what I'm trying to say, but Incredibles 2 is not their worst movie, actually. I just remembered. Um, uh, but yeah, Toy Story 2, great follow up. I think about as good as the first one. And Toy Story 3, I think, is a little bit better. Um, I think I gave Toy Story 3 an attitude. I'll say it's, I'll say it's behind Ratatouille. I'm, I pro I'm probably not, just, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm probably ranking these in not, like, not the order that I had them for on my IMDb list of highest ranked movies, but, yeah, I think Toy Story 3 is the best one. Toy Story 3 almost got me to tear up towards the end. Not in the Andy scene. Not, 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 not the scene with Andy. Uh, which is, I think, what most people cite for that. Um, the really dramatic scene. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, this isn't a Pixar movie. This is intense. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but I didn't. It's really hard. I don't know why. I don't know, I, I don't know why. It's, uh, I don't know why it's, it's so difficult to get me to cry with movies. People are like, oh... I, I was bawling during, uh, whatever, I can't think of, Fast and Furious, Fast and Furious, I don't know. But, but, but whenever people are like, oh, was, everyone was, everyone's like, oh, I was bawling during that movie, I'm like, I do not, I, I don't say this, but I'm like, I'm thinking like, I do not get that. <laughs> I did not even almost tear up. Um, but then I'll almost tear up during more of the Planet of the Apes for some reason. I don't even remember why. I bet if I rewatched it, I wouldn't. I think I was just emotional when I watched that. Um, but yeah, Toy Story three, I think is. I think I maybe I maybe I didn't maybe I changed the ranking, but I think I still had Toy Story three as the best one. Brave. Um, I also think Brave is overhated. I'll put Brave. I'll put Brave here. I love that, um, I think C Purcell directed Brave, which is awesome. <laughs> C Purcell is, uh, great. Created Sam and Max, which is one of my favorite, like, cartoon properties, I guess. Um, which doesn't really, I don't think that really affects Brave much, to be honest, but Brave is still a great movie. And he voices the crow in that, which is pretty good. Uh, I don't know why people don't like Brave, honestly. I can't think of anything that would make them not like Brave. It's a good movie. And when I watched it, I had no idea what the plot was going to be. So I was like, on the edge of my seat. Because I, I was like, what is this story? Like, oh, there's a there's a bear? Like, what? <laughs> I knew it was originally going to be called The Bear in the Boat, so I knew a bear would be involved. But I didn't know it would be involved in that way. Um, also... A key component of the Pixar theory in this movie. <laughs> I when I first heard about the Pixar theory, I was like blown away. Uh, I think it's still it's like the one conspiracy theory about pop culture or whatever. Like I'm like, I wish it was true. <laughs> it's just so crazy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> onward, is, onward is okay. <laughs> From the people who brought you Monsters University, more okay monster designs. The monsters, the designs in Monsters University were such a downgrade from the ones in Monsters Inc. That's one thing I'll say about that. Onward was fine. Yeah, I'll say it was. No, I'll, I'll say Inside Out was better, honestly. Um. I can't remember. Were they directed by the same person? I'm not sure. No, no, I don't think they were. I think you know, Inside Out was directed by Pete Doctor, who directed uh, I don't know, Monsters Inc. I think maybe Monsters Inc. is way better than Inside Out. Um, Onward is fine. I remember what I thought about Onward when I saw it. It was the last movie I saw before the pan pan pandemic. It was the last movie I saw in theaters. Um. I was like, I, w I was like, the, the age of 
Pixar movies is over. This is a Disney movie, is what this is. <laughs> That's what I thought when I saw it. I mean, it's a decent, it's a decent Disney movie, but it feels like a Disney movie. It doesn't feel like a Pixar movie. Uh, and Toy Story Four. Toy Story Four, I guess, feels like a Pixar movie, but it's such a, it's such a waste. Like, why did, why did this have to be made? I can I, I, I a sequel to The Incredibles could have been good if they had, if they had done certain things. Maybe okay, they didn't necessarily have to do uh, a time jump or whatever you know um, time time skip whatever the, whatever the whatever the anime term is <laughs> I don't know um, like One Piece did <laughs> one anime I know. Um, but they, they, what they did was not good. Toy Story 4 did not need to exist. It, it, it's bad that it exists because Toy Story 3 is the perfect way to wrap up Toy Story. And people, what I heard before I saw Toy Story 4 was they, they, it was, they were actually justified how they extended it. It was like, oh, this is actually... This is actually a good, a, a, a good uh, extension, a good, a good addition to the franchise, a good, a, a new good cap to put on it. I wholeheartedly disagree. I think if maybe this is maybe this is a bit much to say, but I think Toy Story Four kind of spits in the face of the first three movies. It's a decent movie on its own, but it's but it basically the message of the movie is uh, actually the first three movies are full of shit. They were wrong. Nope. It's because the first three movies is like we're toys we gotta be loved by our owners and then the fourth movie is like uh actually no that's that's a shitty way of looking at things a toy should not have to at which I mean you're overthinking it <laughs> like sure maybe but that's how the first three movies were written they were written with with that message that the that, that, that the toys want to be loved by their owners so the fourth movie is just like mm, actually no that's bad Don't, let, let's let's not say that and th and you know, another reason the fourth movie didn't need to exist is there were already really good extensions to the toy story canon with those toy story shorts and the holiday specials um i think toy story that time forgot was also directed by steve Purcell. i didn't catch the beginning of that but those were those were good uh extensions like if you want to see more of these new characters and that was a great way to do that. Toy Story 4, uh, I, I heard one thing that would, well, actually, no, I don't want to say this because I feel like it kind of spoils um, how, how Toy Story 4 ends. So I'm not going to say that, but <sighs> Toy Story 4, it, 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 it's, it's like, for, first of all, it's, it also feels really like messy and disorganized compared to the other three. It's like, I'm just like not sure where this story is going, and then it's like, oh, okay, this is where it's ending up. Uh, all right, I guess. But the message is like contrary to the first three movies. So like, why, why make the, why do this for a Toy Story movie? Anyway, it's the worst Pixar movie. Uh, and and and, yeah. No, I thought I had something else, but I forgot it. All right, fine. This is so. This is my uh, Pixar movie ranking list. That's uh, the definitive. <laughs> this is this is fact. No one can dispute it. This uh, Pixar is going to print this out. Uh, what's who's the president of Pixar right now? I don't know. So, uh, 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 Steve Pixar is going to print it out, tape it to the <laughs> glass front door of Pixar headquarters. Be like, by the way, guys, this is the new official ranking. Everyone, keep this in mind when uh, writing and designing the movies that uh, Incredibles, that's our peak. Toy Story 4, we don't wanna, we don't wanna get near that cause that's, that's doo doo. <laughs> like I said, Toy Story 4 is a decent movie. It's just a terrible sequel. Um, yeah, that's, this is it. This is good. There we go. <laughs> Not not sure if there will be another tier maker video next week. This might be it for this bunch of tier maker videos. Just just two, just two of them. I plan on recording more in the future, but 
this might be it for now. So until then, see uh, Pixar later. <laughs> This just in breaking news, I'm getting word that Disney Pixar has announced Lightyear, the new movie about the origins of the real Buzz Lightyear that the toy is based on, starring Chris Evans, really excited, sounds like, sounds great. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and preemptively put this above The Incredibles for the greatest of all time Pixar movie. And since The Incredibles is the only movie I've ever rated 10 out of 10, I guess Lightyear is gonna be the new greatest movie of all time. So there you go, there you have it. Lightyear, greatest movie of all time. That's the new definitive ranking of Disney, Pixar, oh god. There, there you go.